hello everyone good morning good afternoon good evening or depending on the time we're reaching you guys welcome back to our channel it's so good to have you guys back here again and thank you once again for all you do for this channel god bless you my people we really appreciate you and we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again guys yes my people as always we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country we all know that um, the news that broke out yesterday was that um, the Central Bank of Nigeria um, freezed the account, the bank account of Sunday Adeyemo, also known as um, Sunday Igboho, the Yoruba activist um, who has been um, fighting for his community, who stood up for his community that um, Fulani headsmen should evacuate that their criminal activities has, uh, has, has reached the, the, the top. They have to go. No other option. They have to leave. You know, so he's been uh, making this move um, in all your state, in all the communities, in all your state, going around wherever cries are coming from. You know, Fulani hates me. I've been terrorizing farmers farmers innocent farmers unarmed farmers in their farm they go there they chase them out forcefully um, um allow their cattle to um graze upon their land and then they are even claiming the lands of people so they've been committing a lot of atrocities apart from these um, atrocities committed them um, against farmers it's been alleged that um, they are also committing uh they are the ones kidnapping as well killing raping committing all sorts you know, Akere Dolo started this move by stating that um, Fulani headsmen should evacuate the forest reserves in all those states. Alternatively, that if they don't want to evacuate, they should come and register. Their details should be known. They should know where they reside, what they are into, because most of them have been disguising as headers, but they are not. They are criminals, serious criminals. And then um, Sunday Igbo has stated that, uh, you know, he stated that he, in spite of the fact that his family members have been complaining and raising concerns that um, this, what he's doing, this fight is really dangerous, that he should step aside. He has stated that there is no turning back for him, that he's going to follow this to the end, all the way through. And surprisingly, the federal government uh, um, blocked his account. You know, recently a GoFundMe account was set up for him by um, Yorubas in diaspora. Just because uh, um, this GoFundMe account was set up for him and a, 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 a huge sum of amount um, was uh, um, stated to have been donated to support logistics. You know, when he goes around, he doesn't move alone. He goes with his boys. And the sole purpose of that um, GoFundMe account was to aid and enable him moving from one community to the other, ensuring that um, lives and properties are safe. Federal government is fighting him right now. I really don't understand what is going on because this is someone who is standing up for the people. The Boko Haram and them, how they move money, because definitely they spend money. How do they eat? Who is sponsoring them? How they move money? Federal government has not gone to look into that. How it can cut the supply of Boko Haram terrorists, but it's the supply of Sunday Igboho they want to cut. Right now, guys, and Sunday Igboho is blowing hot seriously, and he has stated to federal government that they should unfreeze his account. If they don't, they know him very well, that they are going to see what will happen. So Sunday Igboho is calling out them to federal government right now. We'll bring more details shortly, guys, but before we do, please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Thank you once again. Popular Yoruba rights activist Chief Sunday Adeyemo, also known as Sunday Igboho, has accused the federal government of freezing his bank accounts. He said the move was because of his campaigns against killer headsmen in the Southwest. Igboho alleged his bank accounts have been frozen by the federal government because some people were collecting donations on his behalf. He denied having anything to do with the donations, warning that the account must be unfrozen to avoid nationwide protests by youth across the southwest region. His words, they froze my account because I'm fighting a just cause. I know Yoruba people are behind me. I will not relent. I must achieve my aim by putting an end to criminalities in Yoruba land. If they refuse to release my account, there will be serious protests across the southwest. Yes, the Yoruba are living in fear. They are afraid that the killer headsmen might attack them. Uh, Sunday Igboho is someone who has um, been tagged a hero. You know, like he stated that he doesn't have any link with them. Um, who set up the GoFundMe account? We know him very well. He said he's got all it even takes to finish this course. He's not getting support from anyone. No one is paying him anything to do any of this. You know, normally if a GoFundMe account is set up, it's because the people who set up the account 
they truly truly believe in the cost of um, the person they are setting the account for it's a form of support that we are right behind you are supporting you that is the reason behind them gofundme account you know a gofundme account cannot be set up for something that um, does not have any form of support sunday go has been tagged in a, a hero we know of late his name has been on the news very popular I'm sure there is no one in the country that has not heard Sunday Goho within the last couple of weeks because of um, his, um, the fight against criminalities. Right now, he's saying to federal government, he has even stated it clearly that he doesn't even have any connection with our GoFundMe accounts yet. He doesn't have access. He doesn't have that GoFundMe that was set up. He's not even paid to his personal account, but it was his personal account that was blocked. And what is the reason behind blocking his personal account? We know even the governor of his state, Sheima Kinde, is someone who is not um, supporting him as well because they are all playing politics with this. President Mohamed Buhari is supporting Fulani headsmen. As such, every uh, the, the Yoruba politicians, Yoruba leaders, some of them are taking sides with President Mohamed Buhari, playing politics with the lives of uh, um, um, Nigerians. Very, very sad playing politics because these guys, the Fulani headsmen, they are not joking. They are killer headsmen. When they kidnap people, they demand huge ransom. If the families of those people are not able to pay, they kill the, the, the victim. Some cases, even after collecting the ransom, they still kill. So it's not something we should be joking with. And I'm so surprised why politicians, Yoruba leaders are playing politics. They politicize everything. Everything is all about politics. Those that don't want to get in the bad books of President Mohamed Buhari are in support. Right now, can federal government even give any cogent reason any reason why they they, they froze um the account of sunday Igboho, they cannot say anything they, all the leaders all the corrupt leaders or the federal um agencies um efcc corruption that is lingering all over is the nddc the ninja delta uh, development commission they have corruption. Corruption leaves are around President Mohamed Buhari. They've not gone to freeze the account of all of those people. It's the person that is fighting a just cause, defending his people. Because only a day most stated that the farmers are living in fear. They don't want to come out. They don't want to go to their farmlands because these Fulani headsmen, they are waiting for them. And guess what, guys? The Fulani headsmen, they are very, very equipped. It's not even a case that uh, the, the farmers can defend themselves. The farmers cannot defend themselves because these Fulani headsmen, they come very equipped, carrying AK-47, cutlass, bow and arrows, all sorts of weapons you can imagine so these guys are living in fear and then um, sunday Igboho has vowed that he, this cause he must fight it to the end so right now he's telling the federal government that hmm, unfreeze my account or you will not believe what will happen he said he knows very well that um, the yorubas are rightly behind him they are supporting him anyway my people drop us your own take down below in the comment section i would really love to hear from you thank you once again for staying tuned please don't forget to like share and to subscribe Till I come your way again with more updates, bye for now and God bless.